Here was the cell phone that was in the box with the fishing rod reel. Was coming back from kickboxing class. Let me show you this. Let me pop the hatch. We just found another hard shell suitcase where I found that Fender amp and all those other things last night at the complex. Let's see what we got. I want to try to keep it stealth mode because there's some people around, but I want to see what's up with this. I think it's a stroller, but there might be a bunch of stuff inside. Hold on. There were some people around, but it was a printer, a Canon printer, a cordless battery powered vacuum, a two-person stroller, or two-baby stroller, I should say, and a pair of women's shoes. I took the vacuum and this little bag as well, which is right here. Handheld vacuum and this little bag that's kind of bundled up a little bit. I thought they were like sticks or decoration pieces. Those are actually golf clubs, and we're gonna grab them all, and probably, unless they're really old, but they look like they're pretty decently modern, so let's grab those bad boys. <laughs> Nice, a pair of older ping, ping eyes. Those definitely sell still. So that was a pretty sweet pickup right there. We're on our way back from kickboxing right now. Two complexes, we're looking good right off the bat. And we got a full dive night ahead of us. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some good finds. Christopher, how do you fit that stuff in your car? You are crazy, definitely crazy, and it's definitely in the car right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit in the better daylight, see what it looks like for sure. I'll tell you that right now, we're looking real hot, real strong. That was a blessing one time for sure. The car hatch isn't fully closed, but it's in there. Luckily, that was the first complex after kickboxing, after my shower, I'm right next to home. I gotta drop the bike off for sure. That beauty. We're looking like some nice decoration pieces straight down the pipe there. Looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and creep over here in this right trash can. Now look, hey, it looks like a box only, I think. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you. Oh boy, look at that, look at that, look at that right there. Look at Wiley, right there. Oh, did you see him? Oh my goodness, I thought it was a big dog. Th there he is, there he is. Right there, strutting down the street. Look at him, look at him. Look at him, oh my gosh. That was a big coyote. He was trying to hunt my cans. What's the deal with that? Ripping bags, Wiley, I seen you. I didn't even grab all the Pokemon cards, but I got so many Pokemon cards, brand new in the wrappers, tons of them. I don't even know if they're worth anything. This is crazy. Quicksilver hoodie. I'll show you all the goodies tomorrow. Something on the ground right there. I'm trying to determine what that thing next to that picture frame looking thing is. Let me go see what's up. I went in for a closer look because I thought it was maybe a little Bose sound speaker or something, but it turned out to be a picture holder with a suede top. Still very nice, but I left. We just saw an office chair over here. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. There's something behind that half wall. There's the office chair. It actually looks really nice. Let's see what else we got in here. 
Sorry that it's a little dark, but we got a full aisleway here full of action. We got a couch over here to the left. Full aisleway. Let's see what we got here. It's a little later than I normally dive and I do miss the quietness and I do miss being able to hunt without anybody disturbing me. Well, last complex of the night, so I took it. It's right here, but I actually got this one in particular for Mr. Sleeps a lot. I'll either switch him with the one I recently found, which I don't know if it's which has made the videos already. I'm pretty sure I just don't remember, but I found one of this size. This is a really big one. These are fantastic for goal setting. They're very expensive. This one had the lower shelf, so I'll give Mr. Sleeps a lot my other one so that he can have one for his gym inside his garage. We're looking at 9.50 p.m. Just got back from church, Phil Wickham. Amazing, four nights in a row kickboxing class we need to bulk up a little bit we got the zow we got the zow All right, let me show you before I gotta go to Salvation Army tonight after the gym, I wanted to show you what was in the grab boxes. Not grab bags, grab boxes. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on. Unfortunately, the Nintendo DS was snapped in half. The ribbon cable was busted. You could repair it, but not really worth your time and energy. But we went ahead and salvaged. I think that's memory from the Nintendo DS. We're gonna go over this kind of quickly here. We got a Nintendo DS game right there. We have ourselves a Game Boy game. Don't know what it is. The label is ripped off of it. A cool little origami book here. Toy Story 2 game right there. And a ton of these cards right here. And also uh, this set of cards here as well. Um, this was definitely a huge haul in this little bin right here. We have a fossil, or no, I'm sorry, a diesel watch box. We'll go ahead and just donate that to Salvation Army. This is all the amplifier stuff, the pedals and all that stuff for the Fender mini amp right here. That was in the same haul. We have a really horrible fake Gucci woman's wallet. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Salvation Army that. We have some rechargeable batteries. That was actually pretty cool. Energizer, little wall plug there. We have a little tool set here, a little bicycle pump here. We have some cords, cables, laptop stuff. We got awesome pins, a ton of pins, batteries. We have some cool like little wooden things here. These are Goodwood NYC. A little lion right there. I might just rock that occasionally, you know, you never know. We have another one, some beads with uh, what looks to be some brass knuckles there. Here's all the pins. And also, this dude did a lot of gaming. Those are all gift cards for League of Legends, uh, whatever N-E-X-O-N is. Obviously, they probably have all been redeemed. I'm not going to go through those. I'm not a gamer, but all the backs of them are scratched off so definitely probably redeemed all that crazy anyway flash drives which i haven't really checked out quite yet don't know if there's anything good on there or not who knows i'll check that out but probably on a junky computer just in case they have viruses you never know uh, a little bit of money which was definitely that was kind of a nice little come up right there uh, i think a few highlighters as well and that was in the hall we saw not too long ago with all the Christmas ornaments there. So were those boots. Anyway, wanted to show you all 
all that before I did scrap a lot of the stuff and give it to Salvation Army. Here was the cell phone that was in the box with the fishing rod reel. Take a look at this. I charged the bad boy up. It's a T-Mobile. We're looking absolutely fantastic. One touch T-Mobile 5 megapixel phone. That's a sweet come up right there. But this, my friends, is the sweet come up. What in the world? This is are all the Pokemon cards that I found. I shoved a whole entire bag full of them. I didn't even get them all. There was probably no joke, three, 400 more cards, but hopefully I got all the good ones. I did a little bit of research, not too much, but I did a little bit of research. It looks like these two alone right here are going for about 550 plus shipping on eBay each. So right there, you have about 12 bucks in cards right there. I got a couple other silver ones here. This one's actually not a Pokemon card. I got a ton of Pikachus. I got whatever this Zazzle one is right here. I got three unopened packs here. I got all those metallic ones. We got all sorts of like metallic ones that are kind of glittery here. These ones are all plain. Look at that stack here. This is a stack of 25. So that, my friends, is well over 1,000 cards. All those right there. If you see anything worth a little bit of cash, this one, this stack right here, I'm gonna go ahead and sell there. That is a hair, that's nasty. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna sell all those right there, the online playing cards as well. So we're looking at at least, I'm guessing I'll, I'll probably do a lot on eBay. We'll probably hopefully make minimum 60, I'm hoping upwards of 100 bucks or so. They're not going for as much as I intended, but hopefully I might have one rare one in here somewhere. And almost forgot I found this as well. This is a Pokemon glitter thingamabobber. Don't really know what that is as well. Anyway, look at all these Pikachus, man. I mean, I got a ton of Pikachus. Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night, every night.